Well, here I am outside Acme Toys in Birmingham. Um, let's have a look through today, look through the shop, see where we are. Right, let's go in. Right, I'm in the shop now. Behind the candy is my good friend uh, Pete Hall. Alright, let's have a look at the Action Man section. Okay, we'll start here with the uh, 1970 ceremonials. I'll pay. What are these? What, which ones are this one? The this is the seventeenth and seventeenth, uh, twenty-first Lancer. Yeah. Lifeguard. One of the two regiments of those old cavalry, in it, along with the blues and rolls. And this is this um this this quartermaster stores. Quartermaster stores. Um, using the quartermaster door um, marine outfit and trousers together with the with the cap and the belt from um, the dress marine and the combat marine. Interesting. And of course the marine yeah, ceremonial yeah, here. Royal Marine ceremonial dress. Uh, which one do we have here? There's these two here. There's, is this the uh, Arg Argyle and Ar Southern Highlanders? Ar Argyle these and two? Southern Highlanders, yeah. So I'll just give it a close up of one of these. And this one. And again another 17, 21st Lancers. Lancers. And uh, Colditz I can see here. Colditz officer. Yeah. Comes with a lot of tack. Tackle. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. Very interesting indeed. So I'm just going to move down a bit. So obviously we got British officer here from the 80s. SAS key figure. I can see here one or two of those. We've got the pilot from the 1970s and the Panzer captain. The legionnaire in the lighter yeah. blue. And how do you in the corner there? You got a special team doll. So going up here, we look to the some of the soldiers of the century range. German stormtrooper there. Uh, British infantryman, Russian infantryman, and uh, Australian jungle fighter. Yep. You got here the polar explorer. Yeah. Polar explorer there. Rare piece, which is the air police. Uh, is, you know. Let's have a look at that. It's quite a rare one. So, so this is quite a rare uh, outfit. It's, 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 it's using the basic pilot yep. coveralls um, together with the AP helmet and the grey field phone um, and the uh, carbine rifle that would have come on a on a um, small half card in ah. the 60s. That's interesting. And of course here we have a go-kart pilot. Landing signals officer. Landing signal officer rather. Yeah. So Landing, signal. Landing signals officer. Okay. Which is the only set that has black rimmed goggles. Ah, it's quite interesting. Yeah. So, what year would this be? Sped 67, you think? Yes, one of the very early, sort of based on a GI Joe, that was as valuable as a GI Joe outfit, of course. So, it was in the early range of action men when it came to this country. And, and we have here the Beaches Boys. Yeah. Which was the sort of the forerunner of the yeah. RNLI? He was indeed, yeah. What difference is between this set and the RNLI? Well, you've got you've got this that says Navy on it rather than R and I. Yep. Um, and it didn't come with a uh, Life Fest, which was ah. available R RNLI set. Yep. Breaches boy, the breach. Oh, that's, that's the yep. breach. I think yep. the same. Yep. Yep. Thicker material, quite thick orange yep. um, material, um, and. Um, Anything else and the all skins were a different uh, texture, yeah, weren't texture, they? Texture, sort of smoother, probably f feel thinner in a way, easier to manoeuvre, yeah. Manoeuvre on and off a door, but so it doesn't last, it rips quite a lot, of course, and tears, and so to survive in good order is quite unusual. And of course, the um, sort of long back boots, yes, <laughs> okay, I thought it looked quite good, long yeah. back boots, yeah, right, okay, uh, right. followed by uh, Navy Attack, okay. Let's get this out. This is yeah. quite yeah. a nice piece here. Yeah, quite a lot okay. of pieces for that, yeah. Maybe a pack in there. Which uh, in there is available. The, the doll, there's some flags, the two flags, the blue ammo box, machine gun, so uh, blue helmet, so again quite a a set with quite a lot of bits and pieces as some a lot of the early Shaman stuff did, you know, they, they were quite good attention to detail. Okay. 
So another one here is, uh, is this, what set was this one? Was this the basic combat soldier from the... Uh, that's the combat soldier, which is probably my favorite. One of my, well, not, it's my favorite figure because you've got so much kit there. To my, you've got you know the, the tents and I think the so. Good, but let's have a quick look because yeah, it looks like a, a nice piece here. It certainly is. It's an archetypal action man to me. Combat soldier. Uh, what date was this, Pete? This particular. Well, well this was in the first range, so as, as soon as it was released in this country, it would have been available. Um, it's the first catalog item. Uh, is here. So it's available if the first is complete all the early ranges of available action man that's all the did it come as a complete set or do you have to do you have to buy them separately? You you you, you, you buy the bits that are there really is an amalgamation of them all. Yeah. The the, the combat field set forms yep. the base up with with the yep. uh, M1 field jacket. Uh, and this includes this set from the bivouac set in there, yep. which is with the with the sleeping bag. It's got the uh, uh, it's got a poncho from the um, command post set. Uh, it's got pieces off of some of this, which is yep. right here, 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 here. See, all these items are broken down and available as pieces on the small half. Could cars. you buy it as a complete set? No, no, no had to be. So, had to be. So, yeah. so really, this and then building up bits yeah. and pieces from there, which was a novel idea, wasn't it? Really, you could even get the pack yeah. in the oh. tool there. Which uh, and that's all the, the soldier range. And on the flip side, so quite limited, but was the navy range and the pilot range. And of course, the frogman, of course, suit. Yeah. yeah. Mm. The items. Uh, yeah, and this is this is the first catalogue of items. So this was obviously a way of encouraging you to buy. Yes. Yes. Yeah, novel. Based from of course on GI Joe from Hasbro's GI Joe range in the States, which there was there was nothing really at this time that was particularly British, it was all the American. American. Yeah. So obviously this is all itself. Yeah. Obviously the the you notice know, the actual thickness of the material compared to yeah. later releases. It certainly did, yeah. It certainly. Doc tag as well can see there? Yeah, certainly is. Uh, uh, ammo for the for the. Uh, this is interesting. Yeah. What was the this here? That's the ammo. That's helmet netting for the helmet um, foliage for camouflage for the helmet. Now, where did that come? With? What set did that come with? That came with with the, the, with, with the helmet. With the helmet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, but, and then, uh, which I think are always novel is this is the entrenching tool that was available marked Hasbro there. Uh, you'd screw it slightly like that. I can remember in, 19, in, in the mid nineties there was a kind of a, a 30th anniversary, wasn't there? Yeah. And they're based it upon this. Yeah, yeah. I've got one myself, uh, and the entrenching tool is very, very similar. That's yeah, that's Mark, tool there. Isn't it? Yeah, but Mark, this would be marked Hasbro on the on the back there. No, this was delicate, wasn't it? Yeah, well, yeah. Obviously, this was very easily broken. Very easily broken though, because it's a twist there. And twist to to uh, fold fold oh. it down, and of course, I'm people sure. are just yeah. Just, oh, there we go. That would break down into there. Just a, just a slight twist like that. And then down again into there. But as you can see, it is fiddly. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa. Damn, we we'll, we'll roll in one piece. <laughs> so, obviously, M1 Garand here as well. Rifle. Um, this is, I mean, this rifle continued up, up until many guys up, up, up until the 80s wasn't it yes with a plastic yeah. strap with the yeah. US paratrooper did. And, the, and the rifle rack so sort of for about mid 70s onwards this elastic strap was was to drop wasn't it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. put the elastic strap yeah into the rubber We've got the yeah. pack here and uh, and of course a sleeping bag which is quite interesting so look at this And a soldier man that came with all of the boxed, the box um, figures. Be they, this is one for this is the action soldier, but there was be equally for the pilot or the or the sailor. Came with it. Andrew Mann. There you go. Piece mm -hmm. of history, huh? What's he doing now? I wonder. Oh no! Yeah, where is he now? Perhaps you'll. Perhaps you'll view this video. Andrew Mann, very close to action, man, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Interesting. Hey, man, yeah. Very cool. Um, yeah. Before, what was this here? This is, this, uh, is, this, is the, this is the tent. Tent. 
Oh, attention. We haven't got any... Po we haven't got the poles with this one. I don't know where they've gone. We should have... But there's one of the pigs that were about... I don't know, I mean, it's probably about... I've not counted them, but probably be about 10 to 12 pigs would be available. Yep. And that is the uh, pouch. Ah. The first aid pouch. Oh, nice. That would be on the on the belt as well. Was there a bayonet with this? The bayonet's there. Ah, yeah. bayonet, yep. Did it have a scabbard or was no, it? No, didn't have a scabbard, no? No, no scabbard, okay. no. No. And this little baby is the poncho. The poncho. Ah. The poncho. Which uh, in the early ones had waterproof linings. Oh wow. Yeah. And of course all this as the seventies as you got into the seventies, late seventies, material got thinner. Yeah. Yep. Economies of Yep. Yep. So. Very interesting. Let's have a quick look around over, over some more of the modern stuff. So I think he got an MP frontliner uniform. That was similar to the International's range that just come with a very basic outfit of jacket, trousers, boots, MP armband and the red cap. So we've got a later issue soldier here I see. 